Welcome Capricorn. We're going to look at what it is you need guidance with right now using shadow healing, cosmic reading cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty. And just like that we're into it. Three cards for Capricorn. There we go. One. Two more cards please. Two. Nope, that just kind of fell out. One more. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Right. Let's get these in the order they came out in. Delay. Here we go. Not everything has to happen now, and taking time to consider the outcome can be beneficial. However, delaying won't fix anything, as nothing will change. Hmm. Interesting. Next card here is frustration. Restart from the very beginning and scrap everything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. And the third card here is astonished. Okay. It's your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered in this situation or to experience it with wonder and as an opportunity for a different future. Excellent. Let's have a look. Delay. Two cards for delay, please. Not everything has to happen now and taking time to consider the outcome can be beneficial. However, delaying won't fix anything as nothing will change. Okay. It's funny, yeah, it's kind of a mixed message. It's like, well, do I or don't I? <laughs> but remembering that all readings are just a guide, a general guide, right? Okay, so we have shine here. Okay, so let's have a look. I feel like it's shining the light on everything, every possibility, and seeing um, the ways that that could cause growth in a sense, right? So two cards for shine. One more card for shine. Okay. Okay. Slowing down and suppression. See, here's the thing, right? Um, slowing down. Yeah, there's a difference between going into something slow and completely suppressing something. So I would be very mindful of that and see how it is that, you know, look at the sorts of things that are going on for yourself, whatever, however this applies, right? And um, and actually see the difference between slowing down because like the turtle, right? He's still moving to the water, okay? He's still moving towards his goal, okay? Um and I feel as though it's important for you to do that slowly, taking each step very consciously, okay? Making sure you've got everything lined up because it seems to me like this slowing down here is the advice on this card because the turtle is rushing to the water. It's almost as though the turtle hasn't been in the water for ages and um, the turtle wants to quickly go out and rush out there, right? But what the turtle isn't considering is, does it, it the muscles that it uses to actually swim, are those developed enough to keep it afloat? You know, has it done the work required for it to be able to swim um, and get back to shore safely? Has it checked out um, the environment for any predators that might be in the water? You know, is it going to dive into a situation which is going to actually be worse than what it's come from? Okay, very important here, I feel. Okay, and the suppression card is, you know, the opposite of this. Hiding in the shell here and actually not dealing with anything at all. Not preparing yourself to move forward in your life because you don't want to look at the things that are too hard to look at. Okay, these things, there could be things that are weighing you down that are really, really heavy. And um, and for some reason, whatever reason, they feel too heavy to be addressed. So they're sort of the opposite of this movement. So I feel like it's getting this really good balance here. Okay, and we have time out. Yeah, take time out to assess things. Look at what you're growing, right? Look at how maybe even things have been shattered. 
and how you're going, going to regrow those potentially. But two cards for time out. And sometimes this is just a breather, right? Taking a breather to ground yourself, okay, and center yourself to see how it is that you want to proceed forward. Interesting. Okay, so we've got three cards here. Yeah, see? Um, um, Capricorn, I feel like this, for some of you, is this past um, hurt that has kept you kind of trapped for a really long time. And um, trying to release the sorrow of it is, is quite difficult for you. Um, it could even be that you've been burdened and by suppressing it, you know, and haven't released it. And it's kind of like, the, or hang on a minute, this could be another scenario that is just coming through here. It could be that you have released um, yourself from the suppression of this sorrow and now you're ready to rush out and delve into whatever it is you want to delve into again right and i would say give yourself a chance to flex the muscles right anyway i mean that and they're really like you know like spread your wings <laughs> practice you know yeah um I think it's it's a matter of giving yourself the understanding too that it's going to take time. It's going to take time for you to actually um, be able to jump back into the water again, so to speak. Okay. Um, because there's going to be things that pop up that even though you may have released yourself from the burden of these ropes that have kept you down for so long, right? Even though you've discovered the water again, which is kind of going to this natural habitat, right? From which you actually really do belong. It's like the bird flying into the sky. This is what the bird was born to do, right? Um, and it's been caged for so long that it's forgotten how to fly and wondering how it could ever be able to, you know, go up to those heights that the other birds are forgetting its natural ability. And um, and here's the thing. I feel like this is you remembering your natural ability to love, your natural ability to go within the heart and love again. Know whether that's somebody else or even yourself. Okay, so it's it's really taking the time to put that back together again so that you can love fully and completely. Okay? Frustration. Restart from the very beginning and scrap anything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. Okay. Two cards for frustration. And that may be very well frustrating for you. To have to start again, you know. Cool. One more card for fresh. Um, that one goes on the floor too. At least it's worth it. <laughs> worth the trip. Okay, so the first card out here is Sacred Journey, which I really love for you because this. I feel like this is getting out of some sort sort of cycle and um and heading towards something new, which is going to cause a or or create a significant amount of growth you okay and this is you traveling a journey which is which is um ultimately yours and yours alone okay um yeah yeah so two cards for sacred journey for capricorn please tell me more about this It's really interesting, Capricorn, because I feel like some of you have been walking a journey for a really long time or traveling a journey for a really long time. Potentially, it could even be in a relationship. Um, it could be in work, whatever. And it's not really one that you wanted to walk. Um, it might have been with the person you wanted to walk it, but not necessarily the journey you wanted to take, the path you wanted to travel. Um, yeah, so this is quite interesting. Um and there's some sort of um, anguish here of actually 
Okay, this is part of the sorrow, right? This is absolutely part of the sorrow. And I feel like some of you feel really alone with this. Like no one gets it and you wouldn't even try to express it to anyone because no one will get it anyway. Or at least you feel like no one will get it. Okay. And it's kind of like ice stewing. It's like you've kind of hardened your heart and, and, and um, prevented the warmth of your heart from glowing. And the way to actually warm up your heart again from the coldness that you've used to protect yourself is to allow yourself to release these suppressed emotions here. Okay. Um, and have patience with yourself. You know, turn in and go within. Okay. To release all these negative things that have been within you for so very long. Okay, because this is going to take time. This sacred journey is going to take time to be created, to walk. But it's worth the walk, okay? But it, I think it really is a matter of you working out what do you want to take on that journey? Do you want to take the ice? Because that's going to be pretty heavy to carry. You know, do you want to take the sorrow? Mm. Is that going to serve this journey? Probably not. Okay, the next card we have here is emotions. Yeah, letting those flow out, right? And allowing, because when you let these flow out, right, like this card says, the answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. And in order to allow these new ideas to come in, you kind of, you have to make room for them, right? And, and, and um, it, it's sort of like needing to store something and the box is full. So you have to go through the box and empty out those things which are no longer needed, which no longer serve you, okay, in order to make more room. And it's like that with emotions, okay. Got to, got to get rid of them. And that doesn't, it's not as, you know, always as easy as that. Um, it is a matter of working through them, okay, um, and melting that ice, okay. It's melting the emotions that are no longer serving you. And the way to do that is to release them to be present with them, to see them, to hear them, and release them, okay? So two cards for emotions for Capricorn, please. Okay, three cards we have here. Yeah, breaking free from these chains, man, being receptive, okay? Going into the silence here, okay? Being receptive to growth, all right? Allowing yourself to grow, okay? And also, I feel like, being receptive to the emotions, receiving them and looking at them, okay, because these emotions need to be acknowledged, okay, um, and they need to be acknowledged by you because for so long you have suppressed them and you've hidden them and you've kept them away um, and that's actually not working for you. So once you understand that, maybe it will be an opportunity for you to do things differently. Okay, we have Astonish here. Okay, so two cards for Astonish. It's your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered in this situation or to experience it with wonder and as an opportunity for a different future. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Excellent. All landing on the table. This is what we like exactly what we like walk your truth make your mark on the world stand up and be hello here i am here i am world like you know let your inner light shine here capricorn because it's worth being seen right two cards for walk your truth please and remember your your fingerprints are uniquely yours Okay, so what are you going to do with those? What are you going to, what mark are you going to make on the world? What legacy are you going to leave behind, right? I'm just going to pick this up. Okay, so we have healing here. And um, and this is about you healing this heart so it can blossom again, so it can flower, right? So you can warm it up again and feel what it is that you were born to feel. This is what we are. We are love. We are born to feel love. We are born to receive it and we're born to give it. Okay, some of you have been a bit stubborn. I mean, you're kind of like, yeah, nah. But it's not actually serving you. And you can't walk your truth. It's like these two here, I always see 
for some reason I see a doorway of them both trying to get through the doorway and the doorway is only big enough to fit one person and neither of them are um, going to compromise and step back and allow the other one to go forth. It's like, no, I'm going first, no, I'm going first, right? Um, and so therefore, they're not really walking with love, right? They're not walking their truth. For some reason, they need to stop the other one from going first, right? Because they haven't done the healing that they need to do to open their heart, to say, after you, mate, you go for it, Okay. So very important, very important because you will find that you won't get anywhere. You There will be no moving forward because you'll always be stuck at the door battling, battling to get through it. And I feel like Capricorn battling with yourself, battling with the suppression, with the emotions that do not serve you, the sorrow and the isolation. Okay, so we see other cards, Surrender. Yeah, I love the surrender. What a perfect way to put it. Just let yourself be. Release it all, Capricorn, and let yourself be. It is your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered by the situation or to experience it with wonder and as an opportunity for a different future. Surrender. Two cards for surrender, please, for Capricorn. Don't like how they came out. Two cards for surrender for Capricorn, please. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Keeping yourself caged in, eyes blindfolded. Things must be done this way or that way. And this may be even how you were brought up, right? Um, so it's up to you to step out of the that. And here's the thing. It may feel very vulnerable. I feel like your mind is in two places. It's like you want to go this way, but there's something telling you to go this way, right? And it's time to compromise with yourself and go, guess what? Let's actually just go right down the middle. I feel like, Capricorn, deep down inside of you, you know the direction you want to go in and you know the path you want to take. It's the mind that is getting in the way here. It is the mind that is causing um, the battle. Some of you feel like your hands are tight and you can't move forward. And this is in the mind. We always have a choice. Always. It's just that you're hanging in the balance and you're not quite sure which way to go. And you feel like either way, um, either way is going to expose you in a sense and maybe it's the exposure of the sorrow that is the most scariest thing for you maybe that's ultimately what you're afraid of and so just hanging in the balance keeps this at bay but how long for? this is the thing right? how long for? because eventually the tears are going to flow and the ice is going to melt so Seize the moment. Take control of it, right? Because that's what you have the power to do. And so, yeah, this is your chance. This is your chance to do the healing that is required for you to be able to walk the truth. Your truth. Okay? Surrender to it. And things will become much, much easier. Okay? It doesn't mean that it's going to be, it's not going to be hard, but it's going to be, I suppose, lighter. You won't have so much to wait to bear as you travel the sacred journey. And it's a matter of also honouring that, okay, because the journey is sacred. And by carrying all this around, how does that work with something so sacred? Okay. Capricorn, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.